नमस्ते टू एवरी वन आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन माय यूट्यूब वीडियो चैनल नाउ आई विल गिव द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ रेसिड्यू क्लासेस मॉडुलो थ्री व्हेन एनी इंटीजर इज डिवाइडेड बाय थ्री वी गेट रिमाइंडर आइडर जीरो और वन और टू फॉर एग्जांपल इफ वी डिवाइड Six by three. Three two the six. Remainder zero. If we divide seven by three, we get remainder one. If we divide eight by three, we get remainder two. If we divide nine by three, we get remainder zero. In this way, if we divide any integer by three, we get remainder either zero or one or two. Let S one be a set containing elements zero. थ्री सिक्स नाइन डॉट 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 इफ वी डिवाइड एनी इंटीजर ऑफ दिस सेट बाई थ्री वी गेट रिमाइंडर जीरो सो वी मे राइट दिस सेट एज एस वन इक्वल टू जीरो वन इक्वल टू सेट कंटेनिंग इंटीजर जीरो थ्री सिक्स नाइन डॉट 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 सिमिलरली इफ वी हैव ए सेट एस टू कंटेनिंग एलिमेंट्स वन फोर सेवन टेन डॉट 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 इफ वी डिवाइड एनी मेंबर ऑफ एस टू By three, we get remainder one. So we may write S two as one bar. Means any member of S two is divided by three, we get remainder one, and S two equal to one bar. A set containing elements one, four, seven, ten, dot, dot, dot. Similarly, let S three be a set containing integers two, five, eight, eleven, dot, 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 dot. If we divide Any member of S three by three, we get remainder two. For example, if we divide eleven by three, three three is a nine. Remainder two. We may write S three as S three equal to two bar. Two bar means. Any member of S three is divided by three gives remainder two, and this equal to set containing elements two, five, eight, eleven. Dot 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 dot. Now let S equal to a set containing elements zero bar, one bar. Two bar. Then this set is called set of residue modulo three. We may denote this by Z three. Therefore, Z theory is a set 
containing elements 0 bar means 0 class, 1 bar means 1 class, 2 bar means 2 class. Here 2 bar is a class in which any member of this class is divided by 3 gives remainder 2. Simply it is written as Z3 equal to 0, 1, 2. This 0 means 0 class. This 1 means 1 class. This 2 means 2 class. Now we shall describe about the composition table for addition in Z3. Here we write members of Z3, 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar, here also, 0 bar, 1 bar, 2 bar. Now, 0 bar plus 0 bar, 0 plus 0, 0, that is 0 bar, 0 bar plus 1 bar, 0 plus 1, 1, 1 bar, 0 plus 2, 2 means 2 bar. Here, 1 bar plus 0 bar, 1 bar, 1 bar plus 1 bar, 2 bar, 1 bar plus 2 bar, 1 bar plus 2 bar equal to 3 bar but 3 bar is not member of Z3 when 3 is divided by 3 we get remainder 0 so this is 0 bar so 1 bar plus 2 bar is 0 bar now 2 bar plus 0 bar 2 bar 2 bar plus 1 bar equal to 3 bar, 3 bar means 0 bar, 2 bar plus 2 bar, 2 bar plus 2 bar equal to 4 bar, but 4 bar is not a member of Z3, when we divide 4 by 3, we get remainder 1, so this is equal to 1 bar, here we write 1 bar. Here we see that when 0 bar is added with any member, we get that member. Therefore, 0 bar be the identity element. 0 bar is the additive identity in Z3. Here we see 0 bar means additive identity 1 bar plus 2 bar equal to 0 bar identity so 2 bar be the additive inverse of 1 bar similarly here we see 0 bar identity 2 bar plus 1 bar equal to 0 bar so 1 bar be the additive inverse of 2 bar so 1 bar is the additive inverse of 2 bar and 2 bar is the additive inverse of 1 bar in Z3. Here we describe about the composition table for multiplication in Z3. Here, 0 bar multiply 0 bar equal to 0 bar, 0 multiply 0 equal to 0, 0 bar multiply 1 bar equal to 0 bar, 0 bar multiply 2 bar, 0 bar. If we multiply 0 with any member, we get 0. Similarly, we get 1 bar multiply 0 bar equal to 0 bar, 1 bar multiply 1 bar equal to 1 bar, 1 bar multiply 2 bar equal to 2 bar, 1 multiply 2 equal to 2. Here, 2 bar multiply 0 bar, 2 multiply 0, 0, 0 bar, 2 bar multiply 1 bar, 2 bar, here 2 bar multiply 2 bar, 2 bar multiply 2 bar equal to 4 bar, but 4 bar is not a member of Z3. So, we divide 4 by 3. We get remainder 1. So, this is equal to 1 bar. 
here we write one bar here we see that one bar multiply zero bar is zero bar one bar multiply one bar is one bar one bar multiply two bar is two bar when one bar is multiplied by any member we get that member that means one bar be the multiplicative identity in z3 here one bar be the multiplicative identity so one bar multiply one bar equal to multiplicative identity so one bar be the multiplicative inverse of one bar here we get multiplicative identity one bar two bar multiply two bar equal to one bar so two bar be the multiplicative inverse of two bar thanks for watching my video if you are satisfied with my presentation and content then please click on like button and do subscribe my youtube channel thank you